This is another video in our Fox Accessibility Series, and we're going to use the pre-flight to check the compliance with PDF slash UA in this particular video. Now I'm going to just adjust the size of my screen here. And I have a very simple document open. And I have run the accessibility checker against it and take note of our errors. Now that was done here on the tab under accessibility and the full check. We're going to go to the convert tab now and at the far right side our pre-flight option. Now I have navigated into the standards here which is this one right here or profiles and notice the PDF UA. We have two choices fix the problem in the tagging structure and verify compliance with the PDF slash UA. And as we select either, it does give us an explanation down below. I'm just going to choose this one. So am I compliant with the PDF slash UA? Take note of the two errors. I'm going to analyze it. And it does tell me I have some issues. The document title, well that came up over here. The natural language, the natural language, the natural language, that came up over here. The metadata does not contain a title, well that's this one. And again, the natural language and this unique one here. The PDF slash UA identifier is missing and it does give us down here some little details about that. Now I could create a report that would save these issues, but let's actually go and fix these, save the file, and run the pre-flight again. I'm going to fix this one, and we're going to call this one my secret report. And we are going to add a title in here. And we're also going to add an author. And I'm going to say OK. We'll wait for half a second till that closes and we're going to fix the language. We're going to save the file. Now I'm actually going to close this file and I'm going to open it up again. Now this was a previous file. And let's see what the pre-flight shows now. So again, we're just going to verify the compliance. And it still says we are missing something in the document details. Even though the title is there, it says the doc title is missing or false. And the UA identifier is missing still. If we go back to the pre-flight and along the side, go back to your standards, you will notice that the PDF slash UA standard is not here because you cannot convert to a PDF UA. You actually have to build that profile. Now I don't have any problems with the tagging, but notice I could analyze and fix it. And we're just going to leave the name and overwrite it and the tagging structure is good. So we really now only have to worry about the one thing here and let's go back to profiles and the compliance. And now it's fine. With that last little check that we did it fixed this file and it is compliant. That still does not say you shouldn't have to do color and contrast checking, document language as far as the composition of the document, um, and embedding the fonts, and looking at the reading order itself. Foxit does not know what reading order you want to do. So, I hope you've learned something. If you've liked the video, please click on that little like button down below and please subscribe.